Hey guys, it's Zach again. Uh, sorry about the angle of camera. I'm trying my best here. Uh, it's a basically cell phone on a cymbal stand, so I'll try my best. Uh, new t-shirt for my buddy Zoran. We check that out. And today what we're gonna talk about is uh, peeling the birch bark off. So I was talking to some friends today and uh, figure it out that uh, I don't know if you can see well uh, it's not upside down it's a 35 tau uh, 3.5 tau or whoops sorry about that It is about 0 0.07 millimeters, so it is fairly thick, fairly thin, sorry. So I'm gonna readjust uh, zoom on my camera, I'm sorry about that. So we can do some close-up for you. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is gonna be... Pretty much in a zoom. I can go a little bit lower. Okay, I think this will do. Because people complain, oh, I can't see what you're doing. So it is kind of tricky to block all the lights. So I can see and you can see. Okay, let's hope this is better. So what I got here, it's basically birch bark that is peeled off from the tree. And it is fairly thin, but not as thin as we would like it to so uh, what i first do is uh, here you can see on this spot right here you can see that it's kind of wrinkling and it's ready to come out so what i do first is uh, come with the basically basically lead working tool and I get it started since this one is fairly short it wouldn't go all the way through I'm gonna use clay modeling tool it's very nice I think I paid two bucks for it and I polished everything so there's no sharp edges so at this point I can find that spot and just go nice, slowly, and patiently. I'm gonna move my hand out of the picture, which is easier said than done. Okay, I'm gonna start somewhere here. So I hope you see what I'm doing. And just wiggle it in. That separates it fairly nicely. And I can do longer strokes and that separates it okay at this point I believe you know what I'm doing because it's, I prefer to see what I'm doing and as I go deeper and deeper pops all the way through so now I can go Sideways, that is a tricky part, but not impossible. And I'll just go with the same motion, shallow cuts. And I hope you see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm going to separate this one. This is just a practice piece. It is fairly thin, it has some holes and all of that, but I'm gonna worry about that later. So make sure it's a zero and it's 0 0.08, 0 0.09. I don't know what I got, but this is very thin if you ask me. Let's try it again. 
we can look against the light if this works yes we can see we got two layers and we're gonna tra try to trace this one once again we're gonna try to find the spot where it's willing and it is lots of patience lots of dedication I wish I could move camera but that's that's way too expensive for me oh, I think I know where it is okay got it and beautiful you see oh I cut it But it works much nicer here. If I try to go with the hand, you see what happens. Doesn't go my way. Again, the piece is fairly small. And it's 0 0.06 if I got it right. And I think I think I explained a bit of what you want to know. So I'm gonna readjust my camera. Okay. Okay, crazy angles and all of that, but that gives you basic idea how to split the birch bark another thing i did with it is um, i left it on a balcony and uh, i'm gonna switch this off and uh, uh, i have a glass disc display case that i used to use for my store and uh, now i don't use it i use it as a greenhouse for my garden so i leave it on a bottom shelf where there's lots of humidity and that uh, helps to start birch bark, uh, tell me which part is ready to come out. And I guess it takes a lot of time, but uh, if you got nothing better to do, I think that does it. So I hope you all learned something new. Please uh, subscribe, uh, click the like button, please comment something. Usually I got one or two comments, which is, I don't know, I think we can do better. Okie dokie, I uh, hope this does it for, for now, and we're gonna talk some other topic. Please let me know what, you, what would you like me to show you. If I know, I don't mind. Okay, bye.